Ah yes, Phuket Island. Phuket is actually the largest island in Thailand and many expats move to Phuket each year due to its enticing scenery and friendly locals. But as we know, every island is different and some areas are more suitable to some types of individuals than others. Thus today, we will be exploring Phuket's pros and cons and be answering the ultimate question of should you move to Phuket? The first advantage is the current sandbox scenario happening in Phuket. In July 2021, international travellers who are vaccinated can indeed enter Thailand without the need of quarantine. Of course, this may not be applicable in the future depending on what time you're watching this video, but at the current moment, the sandbox feature in Phuket is welcomed by visitors, especially those who are looking to return back to Thailand. There has been some very interesting developments, reports and questions regarding the current sandbox situation, so I've attached some references in the description below for those of you who are looking for more information. The next advantage is a higher level of English proficiency. Looking at the statistics, Thailand does not have the highest level of English proficiency nationally. However, certain areas such as Phuket is where many Thai English speakers are located and thus it is more unlikely that a communication barrier will occur. Another advantage is accessible locations. Phuket is a very beautiful island and there are many things to be seen. It's recommended purchasing or renting a motorbike as this will help you get around the island and see some of the landmarks as most of them are spread across the island. Another terrific advantage is the multicultural foods that are available on the island. You may discover when moving to Phuket just how popular the island is with expats worldwide. Personally speaking, I found many Russians and Chinese living and visiting the island. Some international expats who decide to live in Phuket full-time later decide to open up a restaurant, as this is a very popular type of business in Phuket and this has resulted in many different types of foods being highly accessible. And the last advantage is that it's an overall great place to meet new people. Not only is Phuket a very popular island for expats, but also with the local Thai community, as many Thais visit Phuket for their holiday. So let's now take a look at some disadvantages of living in Phuket. The first disadvantage is the moderate to high levels of reported scams. Scams can be so common on islands such as Phuket that many prominent names in the travel industry such as Hotel.com and Phuket 101 as well as many others have previously documented the common scams and how best to avoid them. In addition, you may be interested in looking at something quite specific, which is the Thai online dating scams. I will add a link in the description below for your reference. The next disadvantage, which is perhaps one of the biggest, is that prices can be extremely high due to the levels of tourism on the island. The high prices are not just around the peak season, but can be annually. And it's not uncommon for some prices to be higher than that of the capital, Bangkok. The next drawback is that certain areas can become incredibly overcrowded due to the level of tourism. Overcrowding is especially visible in the downtown areas and the beachfront, but again, this does depend on when you're going and your general location. This is followed by the next disadvantage, which is the accounts of police corruption. Moments ago, I mentioned that scams are common on the island, but in addition to this, there has been accounts of police corruption. Unfortunately, corruption is standard across many different levels in Thailand society. These have been heavily documented by local and international sources. The last disadvantage is there are fewer choices for transportation. For example, Grab is a cheap and highly accessible service across Thailand, but you may find that private as well as public transportation prices are two or three times higher than those outside of Phuket. Some speculate that the high prices are due to the low supply of transportation. These pros and cons lead us to the ultimate question of should you move to Phuket? If money is not a barrier for you and you are an individual who enjoys beach life and meeting new people, then you will most definitely enjoy the island of Phuket. Personally speaking, I found the island to be relatively modern with a diverse range of activities and a great place to party. Still, as I've mentioned before, just like every destination, it really depends on the overall lifestyle that you are looking for. Some individuals who move to Thailand enjoy a simpler life where there is much less tourism and much 
much lower prices. And for those individuals who are looking for a simpler life, quieter life, and ultimately a cheaper life, you may be better situated in the northern cities of Chiang Mai or Chiang Rai. If it's possible, it's recommended to take a visit for yourself as you will often discover very early on whether the island is suitable for you or not.